Yeah. Say Lee. Yes, it has. Congratulations. And salute you. So we have an accepted offer. Yay! And did you get the plans from the seller? I did. So um, they gave me a print of the CAD drawings. Mm -hmm. So there's both floors. I've got the actual to scale drawings. Um, so yeah, I was able to use those as an underlay and then use onion paper to trace over and do a few different iterations of ideas of how we're gonna remodel. Wow, that's cool, they had the CAD drawings. Mm -hmm. Super cool. I recognize that bag. Let's go. You ready? Okay. All right. This is the architecture bag. This is the magic, magic, magic bag. versions that I want to share with you and we can kind of go over what we like, what we don't like, and figure out what the best option is. Sounds, you know? sounds good. Yeah, I'll set these over here and we can look at this one. So um, versions one and two were basically looking at if we move the stairs where they are to the back of the house. That leaves something new. Yeah, we haven't moved stairs before, right? <laughs> um, but really it's it's doable it's just a matter of what it'll cost to do that that okay. work but the nice thing is if we move the stairs we're totally opening up the ground floor which means that we can have our dream open concept kitchen right. dining area yeah because when we do the meetup groups and the kitchens you know i feel like there's 10 or 15 people in this room and 10 or 15 people in that room and so on and so forth so yes yeah. i do like this concept yeah and we, we could can get there right if we if we can move the stairs we have enough room that we could see 10 to 15 people, which I love. Yeah. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Now, again, these are just the first two versions, so of course they get better. But initially, um, trying to look at the minimal amount possible other than the stairs. Cafe Costa. Mm -hmm. So in this version, I left these rooms pretty much where they are, and I've made this into the office and then a, another bedroom. Um, okay. But if you remember, this hallway as it exists is really dark. Mm, it's and on face. yeah, so yeah, so I already like this one better because it's got the natural light for your office. Mm -hmm. And honestly, you only telecommute once or twice a week. Yeah. So this one basically, we we just tear down the wall and we create an open space so that all of the natural light that's coming in from this exterior isn't just funneling into one room and one room and one room, but it's shared in an open second floor. Yeah, I really like that. The one thing is this one has no natural light than this bedroom too, which yeah. I presume is a guest bedroom and not used often. True, but actually that might not be the case because this wall that's against the hallway, there's two windows right here. Uh -huh. What we could do is frame in, I know it's a little bit outside of the box, but frame in windows. Freeform? We could use three form Yay! or some sort of something that lets the light in but not view. So you wouldn't see into the bedroom, but they well, would get the Well, if we did it up light. above, let's say I'm five foot. So if we did it at well, yeah. five foot and- And in historic homes like this, those transoms will that's really what they come were in. For. Yeah. yeah. And okay, I like it. Yeah, because the ceilings here are so tall, we could do a transom level window, which would be, you know, kind of like a clear story. Um, yeah, and what would be really fun is to use a three form, maybe with um, green bamboo or green, yeah, some some sort of green flare in it, so that it feels springy even in the gray days of January. Mm -hmm. Neat. So um, yeah, so okay. these two, um, you know, they each have their benefits. However, oh, you get your soaking tub in this one. Yeah, <laughs> but um, after I through these two, I realized that moving the stairs back here, well, it's not just the stairs from the main floor to upstairs, we also have to deal with the stairs to the basement. That wah, dark, wah, wah. nasty, this gross. This is a slab, this is add-on. Right. So, so there's we, move, no moving the downstairs. No. Because the, the basement doesn't even begin until here. Yeah, the, uh, unfortunately, like every home in this neighborhood, it's you know basically 1890s, which means full basements didn't exist. There's a small full basement, just enough space for the HVAC equipment, and everything else is crawl space or slab, which means moving the basement stairs is very complicated. 
So. Okay. Yes. So moving so, on. What does it look like to not move the stairs here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, there we go. This version, a couple of versions here. If we accept the stairs where they are and work within those constraints, what's the most we can get out of the space? Um, we're, we can still do that open concept here. You can see that the, the secondary bedroom upstairs has moved over here. It's much smaller. And then the bathroom is more strung out. And again, we've got issues with those tall windows, which are great. They're gorgeous for, uh, yeah, is there any way to flop this? Put the plumbing along the interior wall and then the bedroom on the exterior wall so it can capture that natural light? Yeah, and part of the problem is you see how skinny this is. It, a bedroom wouldn't fit there and it's just, it's a little challenging to make it work. I mean, to Tetris it together without it feeling like it's squished into a confined space. So anyway, this one... I like Murphy beds. Yeah, Murphy beds are great. Um, now, the difference between this one and this one is that Oh. Oh, look, there's a walk-in closet in this one. Yay. You forgot to mention that. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so there's more closet space, but we're still sharing this bathroom with this other guest bedroom on the second floor. And I mean, it's fine most of the time, but really, we should make this a master ensuite. So, well, the stairs finish here. What if you carry this wall? I know this is a, a look over now. Um, you know, if, if this is, this wall carries through, this is the master suite, that's 16 feet, I, I don't know, this has got to be a 16 by 16 square, close, right? I mean, yeah. could we make that an ensuite and just have no other, could we do a half water closet for this other bedroom somewhere here? Okay, oh, there's the so, plumbing issue. Right. Yes. The plumbing issue is that this is a very long, deep building, yeah. and all of the plumbing, plumbing is at the north end. Right. The plumbing has to have a certain amount of slope and fall, and if we have too much distance, we need more depth in the floor to run the plumbing. We just don't have that. I, I think it would be tough. Does that venting trick work? No. Okay. Water um. falls downhill. <laughs> Gravity is still against us. So, so it would be really cool if we could do a half bath, you know, it, one of those gray water It'd things. be cool, but it's just not feasible. What about, uh, okay, all right. Okay. Shucks. <laughs> all right. So moving on, um, another version here um, on the ground floor, we talked about that for a second. One of the downsides of not moving the stairs is that we have to if we want the open concept that we're desiring, yeah. we really need to move the kitchen over here, which is currently the dining room. Right. And then we could open this wall up so that it flows more to the living room, but you see how small the kitchen is. It's it's very comparable to what we have here. I mean, this is still a generous kitchen, but it's not how we tend to entertain. Yeah, so the, the amount of seating that we could have here, it's just, it's not enough for what we're really looking for. It's um, about the same as we have here. Yeah, and it's just, moving the stairs is a big issue uh, because 